Welcome to another Mortal Online 2 video. I'm your host, Base Bellagio. We're going to talk about armor and the armor system today. I'm going to explain to you which armors are good for what, what materials are good. This is not going to be a complete comprehensive breakdown, but this is going to help you get on the right track on your armor crafting. First, there's many factors to what can affect your armor. Let's pull up the trusty window. We're going to make the same exact armor. Let's start with the very first armor in the game. Callard Norse armor. We're going to make it out of quality leather and cotton. Very common stuff. When making armor, the slider is like extra material you use, which adds to the armor strength. 100 to 100 is like the max that you're going to get. So, as you can see here, the set weighs 3.7. It has 807 durability. And the defense now is what I want you to pay attention to. Every piece of armor has 21 blunt, 24.33 pierce and 21.36 slash we're going to use this as our standard moving forward because i want to show you that every armor has a different base buff this caller norse armor is some of the best piercing defense pound for pound how light it is and that it gets a piercing buff Let's switch this over to now Tindremic Guard. Same material. Let's compare. <laughs> Much heavier armor, 5.38, more durable. But now we have 23.26 Blunt, 23.39 Pierce, and 23.49 Slash. All across the board, it seems to stick like a very balanced armor. Now, let's go to... For example, Ranger armor, same material. We're comparing all three now. What, what do you see the difference here on the defense? First of all, it's lighter than the Guard, heavier than the Norse, 4.26, and it has the least blunt protection, 19.46. Pierce protection, 21.69, the least pierce. And then the most slash protection, 26.74. So we can assume that Ranger Armor has slash defense buffs. Now let's get into armor, I mean materials. We're going to delete all of them except that Ranger Armor. Now we're going to up the material. Let's, let's start with Keeled Scale. Some of my favorite. Good scale. And then let's go to... Let's just do Cotton for now. Then we'll swap out and I'll show you... A difference of that material. So the keeled scale right off the bat, way heavier, 5.58, way more durable. And look at what happens to the defense 24.4 blunt, 27.7 pierce. That ju jumped up. And then the slash is a lot higher, 31.4. Okay, now if we if we switch the padding to silk, check this out. All we did was change the padding, okay? This is why every, every piece matters. Now we have a lighter set by 0.30 points, more durable. The blunt went up 27.92. Piercing went through the roof, 36.05. And slashing got better also because we're using a better tier material. Cotton is like the low tier. So, if we were to switch this again and make the padding quality leather now, watch how this switches it up. Heavier by far, way more durable. Blunt is through the roof. That padding added a lot more blunt defense, as you can see. 33.31, the pierce went down, 34.57, but the slash went up, believe it or not. So, 
as you're playing around with these different materials, you're going to start to figure out what does what. And I could just tell you right now, silk adds piercing defense and it's lighter. It also buffs up all the other armors a little bit, being a higher tier. Quality leather might not be higher tier than silk, but it adds a lot more stuff. A weight, blunt defense. Now, knowing these things, you could design a suit of armor around whatever type of situation you're going to be in. You're going to go out with the guild farming the Spider Queen boss. Maybe you want a PvE set. Maybe you could wear medium armor. Okay, we're going to use Curite Splinted. Okay. Horn Scale is the next tier up from Keeled Scale. We're going to use that. And we just got a bunch of Rawhide. I don't know if the Rawhide numbers are accurate. Because it's brand new, but... Rawhide is a new material you get from... Salinos in Sal Salerno Cave, or Salernos. The new creature in the cave near Bacti. The new dungeon area. And you have to butcher them up. Uh, you might need a butcher table. Now look with this made. Let's compare this to one of our old ranger armors, okay? With the quality leather and cotton okay now we're comparing way different i mean this is medium armor cure eye splinted which is a very good armor believe it or not whether you love it or you hate it and really high defense here compared to our original set this would be a good actually this would be a good pvp set why because pvp now 90 percent consists of archers so high piercing defense would be good let me run you through real quick all the different armors and and uh, what, what the bonuses are at the base level as far as I know from my research, okay? Let's go look at the table over here. This horse, Duke 7, is... He doesn't exist on any other server. It's like... It's, a, it's called Desert Horse and he's level 15. So I'm going to move this horse to a different bank. I don't know if we get to kill. Like, it's crazy. What's going to happen? Okay, let's take a look. We'll look at the the head. The head. So Callard Norse armor, okay? Callard padded. This gives you piercing defense more than the others. So if you want a piercing set, you would incorporate this into your set or just rock all this. If you want, if you're a fat mage and you want the most piercing resist, you're just going to go with this armor and you're going to add scales and silk. So uh, I think horn scale is good piercing or keel scale. We'll take a look after on the workbench. Um, and we'll start with the light armors. So the guard... Congemic Guard is all around decent, and it's it's heavier. So if you want to throw in like a heavier arm, you throw this in, and it would have like across the board decent stats. Balanced. The Berserker Armor, Rizar Berserker Armor, has more blunt defense off the bat. And they, there's more blunt. Good for PvE uh, suits. The Ranger Armor has good slashing defense. Very good slashing. That's good for like melee PvP if people are using slashing weapons. And plus it looks cool. People like the way it looks. The rugged garments are the lightest in the game. They don't give you bonuses uh, to much. Just to, to weight, we'll say. But you can use rare scales. Like the fish scales, you can use on rugged garments. Which makes them really cool and decent light armor. Um... Going into Tendremic Knight Armor. Well, let's do the ones I know. Mercenary Plate has high Pierce Defense and Slash Defense. We're going to compare it on the tool belt because I'm not the most best plate maker. Riser Soldier is the lightest of the heavy armors. And I think it offers good Slash Protection. The... There's one more, isn't there, before the... Berserker, Mercenary Play. Yeah, those. Then the Draco armor, I don't have it here. That's the brand new armor in the game you get from trading in the Minotaur Axe. 
That one has the highest pierce defense in the game, and it's a little bit lighter than mercenary, but it, it sacrifices other defenses a little bit. Let's throw up on the, the tool belt, the tool uh, workbench real quick. The tool belt here. Some plate armor. So let's get to Tendremic Knight armor. Let's make it out of the base, bone tissue, and cotton. And then we're going to make Riser Soldier out of that. And then we're going to make Mercenary Plate out of that. So you can see the differences. And weights... Like I said, the Riser Soldier is the red one here. It is the lightest by a little bit. Mercs is a heavier by a little bit. Mercenary is the most durable. But the defense is now same material. The Tendremic Knight has the most blunt defense. Not by much. Followed by Riser Soldier, then Mercenary. So Mercenary does not have good blunt off the bat. And then piercing, the Merc has the best. Riser Soldier second, Tendremic Knight third. And then Slash, believe it or not, Tendremic Knight has the best Slash defense out of the three. So I was wrong. So the Riser Soldier then is just the mid, the mid zone, I guess. A little bit lighter. It's like the in-between ground. Let's show you what this can go like. We'll make a really good Merc plate, I guess, of like high level stuff. Let's do my favorite crustacean carapace and iron wool. Look, look, look what this makes. Like crazy high, high durability, high blunt, right? 44, 51 pierce, 49 slash. And then the same suit. Let's delete these three. With Mercenary Riser Soldier. Just lighter, you know? Gives you one pound lighter for those that are looking for that. It has more blunt, less pierce, and less slash. So it's really preference at that point, you know? Maybe... You guys tell me, as the heavy armor wearers, what, what's your favorite heavy armor? And then now I'm going to give you a couple... Materials. Let's run to the bank real quick. I'll tell you where the source the material, or at least the creature it comes from. You can find where to source it. And I might make a video on this uh, topic alone, but that Mortal Online map is great. But there are so many unmarked locations. Like you can find your own spots, you know? Your own spawns. Okay. For armors, ground fur is tier one, the lowest of the furs. And uh, it's just a good padding. And then guard fur is way better. It's a little bit heavier, but it's just way stronger. Uh, it's like tier two, we'll call it. Wool is a great padding. People un sleep on wool. Uh, well, first of all, ground fur comes from a lot of animals, and guard fur specifically comes from more higher end animals. Brown bear, uh, maybe black bear, possibly. Some random things out there. Wool comes from the Weissens out in the uh, prairie, I call it. It's really the steppes. But to me, it's a prairie. <laughs> wool is awesome. I love hunting wool. Iron wool is the next tier up. It's amazing. Great material. Not as strong as iron fur. But I think it's stronger than iron silk. I could be wrong on that. Let's. We, I, I took down the workbench, so we can't check. But you're going to check. That's your homework. Iron wool, I love it. Um, Get that from... Dire Wolves anywhere in the game. Back to... Has a lot of dire wolves. Uh oh, let's see. I click off the screen, we won't hear the people in game. How's that for you? Um, dire wolves, you have to bring it to a butcher table. Cannot butcher it out in the field to get iron wool, as far as I know. Silk comes from spiders in the game, 
Niter workers are a great source of this. Silk is based. Amazing material. Um, and then we have emulge. Basic. Better than bone tissue. Uh, hard, you know, gotta save up the teeth. The That's tier one. Tier two would be molarium. Uh, I don't think I have any molarium. I sell it. Molarium is very good. Good for bows. People, Some people like the teeth for bows. Basically, they drop like a few points of damage, but they have a lot more durability. Someone mentioned that in a comment. I thought it was interesting. And then um, there's incisium. This is tier three. Teeth. Really good stuff for armor, weapons even. Uh, iron bone is another bone material. It's a lot better than regular bone. Haven't used it much. The furs, this is the tier three or tier four fur, iron fur. You get that from the trolls. Some of the best material in the game. Uh, we have tier one full grain leather. Uh, we have human skin. It's kind of like a leather, but I don't have any quality leather, it looks like, to show you. But quality leather is tier two. It's not that much better than full grain. And then you have this new rawhide you get from the like Salerno cave near Bacti. Really good stuff. It's heavy though. Um, crustacean carapace from the crabs. If you watch my streams, you know where they are. Crep bite from the spiders. Dense crep bite from crazy spiders. You got to look at my bow video. Arthropod carapace is... I don't know how to, how to rate the carapace because you have to understand it's almost like a, a plateau pyramid system. So at the base of the pyramid, we have the leathers, right? Okay, then you go up to scales. We have tier one scale keel, tier two scaled horn scale. It's, these are all amazing. And then tier three is plate scale. Absolutely incredible. But, and then you go up to the next plateau, which is carapace. So basically this tier, when I call this tier one arthropod carapace, don't, don't think it's crap like tier one teeth, for example, because arthropod carapace is amazing. So it's better than the scales, but it's heavier. So tier one ar carapace arthropod, then crustacean tier two, tier three would be reptile, really great stuff, and then heavy would be tier four possibly. Carap Panzer carapace tier five, uh, well, these are like competing, Panzer and heavy, I'm not sure which is better. Like I said, I don't use a lot of the heavy stuff. We stockpile it for, for our friends, our guildmates, and I throw in a couple like bulletproof vests once in a while on my build. Um, the woods, you gotta check out my bow video for those. They're all, they all do different things. It's hard to tier them. These are all tier one wood. Sponge wood would be tier two, I guess. But I like white wood. White wood's my personal favorite. Um, what else are we missing here? We did those pretty good. Pretty good. I think we're all caught up. Reptile carapace you get from turtles. I don't think you get from satyrs. Satyrs drop keeled scale, horn scale, incisium. Um, and yeah, turtles are a great hunt for beginners. Uh, they're hard to fight on foot, a little bit hard to fight on foot. Definitely I would keep them ranged. And that's about it. Every one of those materials I mentioned have different little buffs and bonuses. You're going to have to figure that out on your own. What I mean by that is that the arthropod carapace versus crustacean carapace. Crustacean is going to be a stronger material because it's tier two. But like, for example, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but for example, the arthropod might have higher slash protection and the crustacean might have higher piercing protection. So you can mix and max match these things with different paddings to make custom armors. The armor system is off the chain. I really enjoy being an armorer. My horse has been in the bank this whole time. And that's pretty much the wrap up of the video. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Tell me your favorite armors down below. Let me know what you think about the armor system and materials. What's your favorite material? And hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.